my doodles. Welcome to today's dog fall. With me and my two babies, they will join us in a moment. And um, today I'm going to share with you a flow that is a little bit of uh, need a little bit of focusing because there are a few balancing poses, and it's also primarily targeting our side of the body. So there will be a lot of side bends. I love side bends. I hope you are the same. So you will enjoy this flow more. <laughs> All right, so we, I don't want to say a lot more. Let's just start the flow. This beautiful sunshine. We start in the center of our mat. Okay, just close your eyes. Big breath in and out. Settle in this moment. Bring your attention in. Just focus on this moment. Well, when we will start our beautiful flow today, and um, we'll start with a hand mudra, the heel of the palms touching each other, and the tips of the. Pinky and thumb touching each other. The rest of the fingers wide open. So the shape is like a lotus. This is called a lotus mudra, also a padma, also in Sanskrit, it's called padma mudra. It's like a shape of a lotus. It's um, it represents a energetic. Um, energetic sign, signal of being compassionate, um, active, you know, like open hearted. So it's a heart opening gesture, the Lotus Mudra. And by doing, by, by having this Mudra, incorporating our flow, well, we just keep this in mind that we at any moment of the day or our life, just be heart opening, be open minded, open hearted to all that is coming into our life or in this flow, for example. Take a big inhale, exhale, let the lotus grow on top of our head. Sorry, inhale, let it grow. <laughs> it's like feel a little bit something wrong until it is totally extended above our head. Gaze follow or gaze close. Exhale, press the palms down, like pressing the energy down and shape in front of our heart again in a lotus mudra. Be open-minded, enjoy this moment, embrace this moment. Inhale, let it grow above our head. Exhale, press the energy down and shape it in front of our heart once again, one last time. Let it grow. And to release, bring the hands down. And interlace the fingers behind our lower back. Open the shoulders. And open the gaze towards the sky. And release the fingers, bring them in front of us. We'll come into a forward fold. With the legs in a seated position, the sit bones are grounded into the mat, forehead down. <laughs> and come back to lift up your body and we'll come into a tabletop. We'll start our flow. Swiftly, gently. A few back bends. A few cat and cows. Inhale, 
close the elbows, open the collarbones, and exhale round the back. Push the ground away. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. You can also do it more creatively, like a figurative movement with your hips. Now come back to center. Lift your right leg, bend the knees, and we'll just a few rounds externally. Rotate the hips. Just move with the knees, pointing with the knees, and a few rounds close internally. Mobilize the hips and bring the right foot all the way to the outside of the mat on the right side. The leg. The legs are kind of like in the position of gate pose. From here, we'll just move our finger hands towards the left side until our body、uh, in parallel to the front side of our mat, and firmly press down through the left hand. Lift the right hand up, pinky side of the right toes firmly pressing into the ground. <sighs> side plank or side stretch on the right side with left knees bent on the ground. You can even cactus your right arm to open up your heart towards the sky, and use your core strength to lift yourself up. Coming into a gate pose, side stretch on the left side. In the meantime, open up the collarbones and move back into a side stretch, side plank pose. Right fingertips pointing all the way towards the left side of the mat. Open the chest. Use the core strength to lift yourself up. Exhale. Come back to gate pose. One more time. Pinky side of the toes of the right toes, pointing firmly, pressing into the ground, and we'll come into a side plank. This time, lift the right leg up. <sighs> This is a variation of a、uh, half moon <laughs> with knee knees bent on the floor. And、if you want, just bend the right knee and try to reach with your right hand to your right foot. And once you have a grab of your right foot, kick the right foot into the right hand so that you feel the frontier of your body totally open. And keep the right knee lifted. <sighs> Take one big breath in. Exhale, bring the right knee down. We'll come into a child's pose.、Hmm. Rest one breath in this child's pose. And come into a tabletop pose again. This time we'll do it on the left side. Lift the left knee up and just a few rounds externally. Rotate the knee to the left side and internally rotation. And place the left foot all the way to the side of the mat, forming a. Gate pose position of the lower body and move yourself towards the right side until your body up perpendicular to the long side of the mat and lift the left hand up to the sky, firmly pointing into the left fin,、uh, left pinky toe into the ground. Open yourself up a little bit of cactus with the left arm. Doesn't harm. Heart opening, side stretching. 
use your core to lift yourself up into a gate pose. Side stretch on the right side. And come back into this side plank, side stretch. Hmm. Lift yourself up, gate pose one more time. <laughs> side plank. This time we'll lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee, reach with the left hand. Kick into the hand, keep the knee lifted, open the frontier of the body. Balancing as well. And bring the knees in. Come into a child's pose one more time. Stay here for three rounds of breath. Arms extended in front of us, stretch it out. Feel even the stretch on the lower back. <sighs> and now we'll slowly wave forward, round the back, and tuck the toes, lift the hips up pointing towards the sky. Keep the knees bent, heels not dropping into the mat if you can't. If you can, just try to drop the heels into the mat, keep the knees bent, keep the hips pointing towards the sky, chest toward the sides, and downward facing dog. Mm. And for those of you who can, the hamstrings allows just drop the heels into the mat. Mm. And tiptoe walk onto the front of our mat to meet with our hands, come into a fold fold. Ragdoll, hold each elbows, just dangle. Sway side to side, release any tensions in stored in stored in the neck and the head. Mm. Gently roll yourself up into standing pose, mountain pose. Stay in this mountain pose, a few rounds of breath. Mm. Reset. Suck in the energies from the nature. Oh. Big inhale with the arm lifted. Exhale, bow down at hips, come into a full fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen the lower back. Exhale, come into a plank pose. Inhale here, exhale, come all the way down to the mat. Oh, something is wrong. Inhale, cobra, high, low cobra. Exhale, bring the hips back into a child's pose. Inhale, lift your hips up into downward facing dog. Oh, the dogs, hmm, there's something wrong with the neighbor, probably. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring the right foot in between the hands and 45 degrees of the left foot to the left side. Warrior one, lift your upper body up. pointing the arms towards the front of the mat and we'll come to balance on the right foot. Lift the left knee into the chest. Mount one leg mountain pose. Inhale here. Exhale, we'll come into a warrior three. Kick the left 
leg back, and we'll shape a human T figure with our body. Form a one long line of energy and bend the right knee. Bring the left toe down to the mat. High lunge. You can keep both knees bent as well, just to keep the balance and the strength. We're real too towards the left side of the mat. Pinch the shoulder blades in. Open the heart. Flip the front hand. Bring the back. Reverse warrior. Side stretch on the right side. Extended side angle. Place the right hand in inside of the right foot, and pointing the left fingertips all the way towards the front side of the mat. Extended side angle. Counter opposite strength between the right knee and the right elbow, pushing each other. And lift yourself up, warrior two. Whoa, there's a fly. Lengthen your right knee. Bring your left foot closer. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Reverse. Reverse triangle pose. Inhale here. Exhale. Bring it all the way down, triangle pose. Place the right hand inside of the right foot. Open the chest towards the left. Take a big breath in. Open, open, and bend the right knee. Gaze a little in front of the right foot. Or just move yourself into a Half moon. Bring the left hand behind the、uh, the lower back. Try to grab the right inner thigh for a better balance, and kick the left foot all the way back. Externally rotate the shoulder, left shoulder to help open the heart even more. And if you want, you can bend the left knee and reach the left foot with the left hand. Lift the left knee up and kick the foot into the hand, and the hand pulling the foot. Oh, there is drum pose. Extend the left. A few fall, come back in, <laughs> like me. Half moon pose once again. And gaze down. Bring the left knee all the way outside of your right foot. Come into a twisting, twisting to the right side. Gaze back through over the shoulder. Spine tall. Inhale and deep exhale. Every time you exhale, twist even more. And now we face the front side of our mat. We'll come into a forward fold. <sighs> Stay in this forward fold for a few breaths. Decompress your head. <laughs> Let the blood go, reversely, and round yourself. Lift yourself up. Mountain pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, bring yourself all the way down to the mat. High low cobra. Inhale. Exhale, bring yourself down. Lift yourself back up into downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, lift your leg, left leg up all the way up, and very strong, pointing the toes all the way back towards the sky, and 
Exhale, round in and bring the foot in between the hands. 45 degrees of the right foot. Lift yourself up, warrior one. Inhale here. Exhale, pointing the hands all the way towards the front of the mat. And bring yourself all the way into a one leg mountain. Right knee into the chest. Inhale here, exhale. Kick the right leg back. Human T, warrior three. And bend the left knee. High lunge. Keep both knees bent for better balance and strength. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Open to the side. Keep the left knees bent. And paint the shoulder blades together. Inhale. Exhale. Flip the front hand. Bring all the way back. Reverse warrior. Extended, extended side angle. Push the knees open through the left elbow and shoulder. And use the core strength to lift yourself up into warrior two. Extend the left knee. Bring the right foot in. Reverse triangle. Inhale in. And exhale. Triangle pose. Place the left hand inside of the left foot. Open your body towards the side of the mat. Gaze at the front of our mat. In my case, gaze at the tail of Pablito. Bend the left knee. Come into a... Bring the left hand behind to hold the left side. This helps balance. We'll just come into a side half moon. Kick the right foot back to keep the balance. Like both legs are very strong, like kicking left foot into the ground and the right foot into a invisible wall. And bend the right knee. Try to reach. And kick. And relax also in the meantime. You know, it's hard. And relax. The left, the right. Let kick back into the invisible one and open your arms up. Gaze down. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Bring the right knee all the way outside of the left, left foot. And twist towards the left. <laughs> and welcome to face front of our mat. Bring the right foot in to the inner side of the left leg and left leg extended out in front of us. Forward fold. Inhale. Exhale. Well forward towards the left leg. You want a little bit of side stretch. Bring the right hand outside of the left foot. A little more spice on the right lower back. Side of the lower back. A block and cushion or a bolster is always helpful to place either side of the leg just to support the head. And lift yourself up. Face the right. Bring the right hand all the way behind of your right hip and kick up through the hips. Just like imagine somebody pulling your hips front and upwards so that you lift yourself up into a star pose, stargaze pose. 
heart opening and back bend. Bring yourself down. Change side. Face your right leg that is extended out in front of you. Take a big inhale, torso spine and fold foot, hinge at the hips. Left hand outside of your right foot, side stretch as well. And sit yourself up. Stargaze on the other side. Push the hip up towards the sky so that you don't dip your weight into your left wrist. Bring yourself down. Straddle, open the legs out. Both sit bones grounded on the mat and toes pointing towards the sky. For most of you, you can stay here, sitting, and if you want, just crawl your fingers out. Bring your chest down towards the mat. Rest your chain into your hands or on the block, bolster, cushion, pillow. Mm. Relax here. Keep the toes pointing out, upwards. A few rounds of breath here. You set yourself up. Close the legs. Come back into an easy sitting pose. The center of your mat. Big inhale with the arms lifted. And twist towards the left. Inhale back to center. Twist towards the right. Inhale back to center. And shape your hands once again into a lotus pose, lotus mudra, above your head and your gaze, like a lotus flower opening. And bring it down at the heart center. Full of energy back towards yourself in your heart. Hands together. Bow down and thank yourself for taking out this time to give yourself a little self-love and self-care. Thank you very much for joining us today. Even if sometimes you're a little bit barky. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate it. And if you like my classes, I welcome you to join me the next one. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next vlog. Namaste.